Also this noontime, a suspect facing charges after police say he was responsible for a crash that killed a man. We're learning more today about what Manuel Ribeiro is accused of. I would assume reporter Sean Daly is working the story right now. He joins us live at the courthouse with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Security was tight here at District Court in New Bedford this morning with emotions running high following a fatal hit and run accident over the holiday weekend. Candles, balloons, and an American flag in memory of 20-year-old Juan Macho Gonzalez of New Bedford, a victim, the police say, of a hit-and-run driver. The crash was loud. It woke up a neighbor. The person came down through the stop sign, which they usually do, and um, just hit this kid at like 50 miles an hour or something. Um, kid didn't have a chance. It was around 4 a.m. Sunday morning at Russell and Purchase Streets. The police say a pickup truck ran a stop sign, slammed into Juan Gonzalez's car, and then took off. The driver, 33-year-old Manuel Ribeiro of New Bedford, was quickly arrested and charged with felony vehicular homicide, fleeing the scene and driving on a suspended license. The police say he tried to ditch his clothes at his father's house only blocks away and that he had $3,800 in cash. Juan Gonzalez's parents can't contain their grief or their anger. God, I hope he don't got no kids. I just hope, and I hope he don't never have any kids because to somebody to go through this hurt. What would you like to have seen happen? What would I like to see happen? Get the electric chair, okay? That was Juan Gonzalez's step-grandmother reacting to the bail on which the defendant was released, $1,500 cash. That's 10% of $15,000 with surety. She and her family members think that's not nearly enough. Live here in New Bedford with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.